What's up guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're going to be doing a video on subscriber, you know, achievements, I guess, if that's even a thing. You know, I don't really like doing these videos anymore. I used to like them, but I think it's a waste of people's time. If people are enjoying the content and subscribing, then yeah, they should just, you know, continue watching. Uh, I might upload on Twitter, you know, I hit this milestone. But I think 1,000 subscribers, especially for me, because I'm going to give you guys my backstory on how I did YouTube. We're going to have like a more open video today. We're not going to have a you know very professionally edited video that's gonna be you know a little bit scripted as usual it's gonna be you know a little bit more out there as they say so i'm gonna try to keep everything you know kind of contain as much as i can i'm already you know just geeking out because 1000 subscribers is so much uh but basically uh yesterday i went to sleep uh with 995 uh subs i woke up with 1k which is quite a big deal uh for me it is i know for a lot of people they get that in like one day but uh to start it off my first video was introduction to my gaming channel and it was uh, something I decided to do on a whim. Like, it was for that day specifically. If I didn't do the things I did, I don't think I would have been be here, like, right now. Like, this is uh, so close to not even being a thing. My channel, it's just not even crazy. I basically woke up that day and I watched a lot of... For some reason, in my recommended, there were a lot of small YouTubers and I watched them and I was like, well, I could do this. I also had some uh, handheld, no phone, no film videos on my channel. I was like, why not just expand upon that, make a gaming commentary channel? I have a mic and I have a PS4, which can edit videos, believe it or not. Like, a lot of my videos were edited on the PS4, uploaded uh, from, well, downloaded or taken from the PS4 to a USB stick, you know, put on my computer, upload to my computer, and then I make the thumbnail, uh, well, also, there's like this process where when they upload my video, I have to re-upload again because there's this YouTube editor thing which I put my intro in and my outro in because I can't really put videos in my PS4. So it's kind of like this very complicated thing. I hope you guys got the, you know, thing I said. Basically, I upload my video, which was a raw video with no intro, no outro to YouTube. In YouTube editor, I put the intro, I put the outro in it, and then I re-rendered, no, re-rendered the video, re uploaded it, and then I have my video. So it was like, quite a long process to sometimes take the whole day to even upload but now i just have you know premiere pro and i boom i finish it it's, it's very much easier than it used to be but i'm glad i went through all that shit fuck your phone uh to actually you know just let me turn my, my phone for a second okay wow, wow. Uh, okay, uh, where was I? Uh, yeah, I'm glad I went through all that shit to just upload the video. It really, I think, wasn't needed. I could have just said, no, fuck this, this is too much for me, but for some reason I kept going. And two years later, we are here. Uh, I'm uploading a watch content, people are liking it, people are subscribing, people are commenting down, you know, no, thank you, this video helped me, whatever. Uh, thank you guys, that means so much to me. Every time someone comments, likes, uh, it just gives me this good feeling that yes, people actually like my content. If people even dislike, I don't, I don't hate them because I say at the end of every video, if you didn't like it, make sure you leave a dislike. Uh, and it's kind of like uh, my my philosophy that if you dislike the video, you should dislike it. That's what it's for. That's why the dislike button is there. Uh, my voice is cracking up a little bit. I'm sorry about that, but to kind of go through the history of my channel, I I started with Call of Duty, and that's like maybe more than half of my videos on this channel. There's a few videos that weren't even mine there are guests like moral chaos with his uh, i will link all these videos i'm talking about in the description uh also there was like this one guy i can't remember his name right now but he did a guest video on my channel i don't think he even uploads anymore i've seen a lot of uh, content creators come and go during my time here on youtube no two years is uh, not that much in terms of youtube you know you know just years because there's people who've been on this platform for like six seven years uh but i've seen a lot of content creators that got big come and go uh uh, you know, in terms of this community, not people with 100, you know, case subs and stuff like that, because, yeah, there have been people who went, but I've seen people who were my friends, and they just stopped, because they didn't like it anymore, but I, for some reason, continued, and, like I said, I did Call of Duty, I did a little bit, you no know, videos that talked about drama, uh, that sounds kind of cringy, it is, I did a few movie reviews, and I did Call of Duty news a lot, there was this time on my channel where my channel was doing great, and I was doing, like, 300 videos per video, it was awesome, I was doing Call of Duty news, people liked it, but I stopped because I realized 
it's uh, not subscribers you want you know to have in your uh, channel and it's something i really don't like so i stopped doing that i started doing call of duty videos related to talking about call of duty not call of duty news i also started talking about pokemon go i did that when pokemon go was popular and they had some tips and tricks to release which was quite fun i moved on to fully drama videos and yeah that was kind of like uh, this gray area i would say before i started doing overwatch even though i think uh, my favorite video was the biblical scammer ever like i just like that video so much just because i think uh, I, I did it so well uh, i don't know about you guys but you should go watch it uh then i moved on to overwatch completely and people are enjoying my overwatch videos people are tweeting me on twitter saying they wanted to learn brian Hart, and my videos popped up which is crazy to think that like a small channel even with 1000 subscribers like me could get a video to pop on youtube when you type in something relating to brian Hart. um it's honestly crazy it honestly is uh a lot of you guys think, well, this guy hit 1k subs, what's that? For you, that's probably, like, within one month, maybe one week. Depends on when you subscribed. Like, that period for you is, like, boom, like this. It's not very big, but I've been here since the beginning, since the start of this channel. I've been through its ups, I've been through its downs, I've been through its everything. I've been through the harsh times, I've been through the good times. I've been through the times where I didn't want to upload. I've been through the times where I want to upload seven times a day. And all of those things I went through and battle through and now i'm here i'm here i'm playing videos of overwatch that people like which is a crazy thing for me so for you guys yes this is probably not a big thing for me it is because i've been through everything this channel has been through and we've been through this together so um that's kind of thing i wanted to say today uh thank you thank you everyone who decides to subscribe to my channel and think it's uh you know, worth their time it really means a lot and i hope you guys have a fantastic week and the weekend when it comes uh love y'all uh if you like the video make sure to like if you dislike it make sure to dislike peace